What are we doing? What up? What up? Yeah. What are we doing? Wicked good cup. Wicked good cup. We back. We faded on the couch. Back like cook crack. Yeah. Faded on the couch. Noel Gonzalez over here, straight government from Noel G's Barbershop. I don't know who these guys are. Oh, Matt the Barber. Weird. Stupid. <laughs> I like, he said his whole government. You said your, your IG name. I'm just going to say both. I'm Daryl. You know, known as Wicked Good Barber. <clears throat> Daryl Reyes. Episode 15, baby. Cheers to that. Cheers. Bang. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. So low. Mm. I'm sipping on that blue shine again. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just about to sipping say on yo, the ale. Yo, let's just say what um what we drinking today, yo. We never really shot out what we drinking. It's, it's always on the screen, but we never really shot it out. I'm okay. drinking uh today. I decided to go light and mix. Uh I usually go straight, but uh I'm doing uh Hennessy Privilege. VSOP. Mixed with Red lie. Bull. And this is what I'm drinking. Bottles right there. What you got, bro? Um, I got the Blue Shine from uh, Maine Craft all the way in uh, Portland, Maine. Straight on the rocks. Sippity sip sip. All right. He won. He won up me because I don't know where the hell Honey's from, but... It's from uh, Tennessee. It's just from New York. <laughs> I got it's the from the L. Big Apple. I got the L straight from Vermont. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude's drinking ginger ale on the rocks. <laughs> Where'd you say your head? Where'd you say your, your husband from? I said New York. It says New York on the back. I knew it. I'm telling you. You think I'm joking? You think I'm lying? Motherfucker should be... Pre- Yo, you should be sponsored by Hennessy. Yo, yeah. And I got my, my pure white sitting at home. I got one bottle from... D- two bottles from DR and one bottle from Jamaica. Little Jamaica? Little Blood clot. Yeah, that's weird. He had the smallest pinky nail ever. Yeah, that's weird. Well, are we doing highs and lows. Uh, what are we starting off with? Lows we already intru- we already introduced ourselves. Like go, people go, don't know go, who go, we go. are, but you go first. You go highs first. and lows. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So my low of the week was. Uh, we doing the whole week, right? Yeah. I don't have a low of the week. My only low was I went to Connecticut today to Hartford, Hartford, Connecticut, stand up um, to see my children. And I didn't get to see one of them. I only got to see one out of the two. Uh, So my low was that I didn't get to see my oldest, Elijah, the barber, doing amazing things Mm -hmm. out there Mm -hmm. as a barber in Connecticut. You know what I'm saying? Look him up. Eli, triple E, triple I, sorry. What the hell, triple E? Eli, E-L-I-I-I, the barber on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Work is crazy. If you're in the Connecticut area, go see him. Go see him, bro. Takes after Don't see father. nobody else, bro. You'll be disappointed with anybody else. Um, highs, I got to spend time with my 18-year-old. He turns 18 tomorrow. Isaiah, doing big things too. Finishing up with school. About to be a mechanic. Kids on, kids rolling. He's doing his thing. Um, got him his gifts. Sister got to see him. It was a good day today. I spent I spent the day with my children. Today which was, was a good Which was day. amazing. The week was amazing because the week was nonstop. The barbershop flourished this weekend. We picked up quite a few uh, clients, and uh, that's just always a plus, man. It's always a plus. I ain't complaining about anything negative. I'm just staying out the way and doing my thing. On to the next. Awkward silence. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He, he whispered something to me and then looked at his calf. Oh, you know what that that sounds like a load of disrespect while somebody's yeah. talking, but anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, uh, I waited what you was your highs and lows there? I waited till you were done. Uh my you highs and tissues lows. Over there. My highs and lows is um <laughs> You put both of us off. No, I mean no, I was showing you I didn't know I was going like that to show the camera that I was flipping him off. My fault. I wasn't flipping you off. I was flipping him off. Sorry, man. Hey, but my highs and lows, <laughs> and you can see why he's really upset right now. He's been upset. Oh, wow. So my hot, uh, my hot, my, we'll say my low, I don't have a low. Week was great, right? I got a few highs. No. Oh, I'm well, just joking. Right? I'm just joking. So uh, my, my high, I got two highs, right? One, Cowboys won today. <laughs> and I bet this guy 50 bucks oh, that the Pats man. are going to lose. So he has, he, he still hasn't sent me that. I did. 
Yeah. On Venmo. On Venmo. I will let you know, America. Okay, right there. 50 bucks. Okay, cool. So that's going to be that his, on purpose, That's going to be his low. I wore his hat on purpose. So they know on week 15, uh, uh, I mean, episode 15 is when the Patriots <laughs> beat the Cowboys. No, it's episode Cowboys 15, week 18. The it's episode 15, week four on the NFL schedule. Oh, Cowboys four. beat the Patriots, not Patriots yeah. beat the Cowboys. You're going to go back into this video and you're going to hear exactly what you just but, said. That's hey, that blue shine. The Cowboys beat the Patriots. Bye. So anyways, and then my other, high, my other high is starting this Saturday. We're going to start having teeth whitening only on Saturdays. Wait, you said teeth? Whitening. Yes, sir. With an F or teeth with a T? Teeth. <laughs> teeth. <laughs> T-H. That's my New Bedford accent, okay? All right, my bad. New beige. All right. Teeth. I'll spit all That's over the shit. Crazy, spit bro. all over my henny, man. Hit me dead on in oh, the wow. kneecap. You spit all up in the ice. There's no cap. <laughs> right? I'll, teeth whitening. On Saturdays by Stephanie. You can book that on uh on Booksy. You can write she's right at the bottom. You can go right on there. Twenty minute to an hour and a half service, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Prices vary per time. You think she could take care of my purple tooth? I don't know. And it's called the purple tooth because I'm a big Wu Tang fan and Raekwon made the purple tape, so I call it the purple tooth. <laughs> It's a little darker than the rest of them because I, I smashed my face on the wall when I was younger and it's dead, but you know what I mean? it's good. It's all good. I was wondering if I could whiten that shit. I had to talk to over. Well, we're going to have to find Booksy, out on but, yeah, man, exactly. that's, but that's my highs and lows. He going to tell you about his lows. I already told you what his low was, but he going to tell you some more uh, lows. My low, man. My low is... Your, uh, low, your main low should be you left the house with them gray ass, uh, wasted ass... Them shits look like you wash dishes in a restaurant as Crocs. Crocs. <laughs> no, he do look like you do look like you wash dishes. Yo, that's crazy. Like you a chef or something. Yo. But anyway, okay, back sorry, to my, my highs bad. and lows. Let me interrupt. Rude. One of my lows, man, is this man's wearing a goddamn cowboy's hat on the side of me after we just took a devious loss. It's crazy. Ow. My other low. You said ow? You said ow to the loss? Is get rid of fucking Mac Jones, man. He's a bum. Yeah, he sucks. But other than that, I ain't got no lows. They're all highs. So what's the high? Um, the high is back to school was uh was really good for us. You know what I'm saying? That was a month ago. Yeah, and, and we talked about it last episode. Yeah, we, my bad. All right, cut that. No, no, you good. You good. We can talk about it again if it was that great. Um, my highs, man. My highs. My highs are always the same, man. I wake up blessed. Another day you can walk. Another day you another live. Day, another day, That's it. Another day, another dollar. Gonna do something. For strange. For a change. Yeah, bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's my highs and lows. I ain't got really much this week. That's cool. That's cool. I, I got a new low. I don't know what the fuck is on the side of this cup, but it tastes like fucking dish soap. <laughs> it's probably, <laughs> it's like, probably what dish what soap. The fuck? It's probably dish soap. <laughs> oh, man. But it says wicked good on it, so it's, it's good. I can tell you, that's just stuck on my lips. I'm going to let Daryl do the motivational speech. Of the Bro, day. you got the illest white hair right there, dog. I got one? Just Told one. Wow. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Two. Right you got one right there. Stay still. And he turn says one way, on that side. Way. That's three. It's literally right there, on it. Three, so you got three, bro. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I what the hell? Yeah, that's not his. That is not yours. That is not yours. <laughs> Anyways. That's, that's definitely Sarah's. That's a blondie. <laughs> so he was mad at me because I Them shits is white, though. That's yeah, yours. Yeah, them you shits is white. Right this shits is curled up right with your beard. Right here, look. literally right here. Look, look, look. Right there. Stay still. Right there. You want me to pull it? Yeah, go ahead. All right, hold on. That's crazy. Nope. I only got half of it. The other half is still in there. There's one right there. Dad. I'm not going to pull no more because I was pretty disgusting. Your you're supposed to be younger than me. Yeah, younger I'm crazy with the white hairs. I like, ain't got none of that. You know what I'm saying? For you, you're a little older. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying for me Dog, to have it. Dog, 43. All right. I'm not old. Hold on. But why the fuck did he got it? He's 30. No, well, did you have white hair at 30? I didn't, I didn't have hair at 30. <laughs> Bad hair. Well, I got a lot of white hairs on the sides. Answer my goddamn question. Yeah, my, my white hairs came in early in my bed. Yeah, me too. Thank yeah. you, Daryl. Yo, so sorry. another high is, I'm sorry. Yep. I booked my appointment to get the portrait of my wella, my mom, my grandmother, my everything, my father, my everything. She's going to be right on my chest, whatever side I decide to go on. My heart is that big that it covers my whole chest, so it, it no matter where I put her at, she's gonna be right over my heart, and I'm really excited about that. I'm really happy, so that's that's my biggest high. All right, mm-hmm. my bad. So that was cute. 
But go fuck yourself, bro. <laughs> For real. For real. All Imagine. Right. So motivational quote, whatever, you know what I'm saying? How you want to take it. I like this one. One day you will tell you your story of how you overcome what you went through, and it will be someone else's survival guide. That's dope. I like that. That's dope. Yeah, that's real. I like that. I like that a lot because, like, always like you know when we got we have people in our chair all the time. They're, like some people like look up to us and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I have some clients that I like talk to about like certain things or whatever, like how I like fix like my credit. You know what I'm saying? Like financial things or whatever. Because I feel like a lot of people don't know that situation. You know what I'm saying? Like. So whatever, so I like, I'm not financially savvy like that, but just like when I learn something like that, I want to like teach somebody that, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. And uh, they get all excited and they're like, oh shit. And I'm like, well, if I tell them like how I did something in the past, I was like fucked up, like I got fucked up where they're like, no way. Like, it's crazy. Like, I don't know. I like that one a lot. Because then well, when you, that, you that... can see in their eyes, like when they take it, they're like, oh shit. Like, you know, that's going to help them. You know what I'm saying? That, that, what you said could go as deep as, this person is going through some really hard mental times and you just no. tell them one of your coping mechanisms mm-hmm. for dealing with just a little bit of stress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that right there could help them miles and miles and miles. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. Decompress and like you mind. said, somebody's going through a hardship financially and you just give them one little piece of advice to help them out. Open up yeah. their mind. Or somebody's even going through some, some really bad mental health mm-hmm. issues and... You know, maybe you went through mm-hmm. something in the past and, you know, unbeknownst to you or them, you guys are just talking normally like two normal people yeah. and something hits that button, that little spot in their brain was like, oh, like, damn. Simple conversation. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. Converse with your clients, man. Talk to people. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Like, don't sit there cutting somebody's hair just for the money, man. Talk to your people. You never know what people is going through. You never know what you're going through and somebody can help you and you don't even yeah. know you're helping yourself just by talking mm-hmm. to somebody. If y'all are going you know through saying? something out there, man, you're going to survive. Yeah, do it, man. Do it. Yo, yeah. do it. Just do it. Do it, man. Yeah. There's always somebody here for somebody. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Each one of us here at Faded on the, at, on the Couch. Damn, I'm, <laughs> that Hennessy got me not even knowing the name of this podcast, but Faded on the Couch. Faded Faded on on the the couch. couch. Each one of us here at Faded on the Couch has a spot in our heart for everybody's story. And we also got a tidbit to tell you guys. So mm-hmm. if there's ever anybody that needs to talk to somebody, I'm mm-hmm. sure I'm speaking on behalf of myself, My but I'm sure that these two guys are, are always have open ears mm-hmm. for anybody's story or anybody to vent out to, even if we just sit there and listen, because most of the times people just need somebody to listen to them. Come on, You know what I'm saying? So we yeah. Wicked Good Barbershop and Noel G's Barbershop, 100% safe space for anybody and everybody. So take advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? Even if you want to come here and sit down and mentally vent on your own, just come here and tell us you, yeah. need, you need a couple minutes. You can sit here and do whatever you need to do. So uh, that's, yeah, that was that's good. all. That's all. No, that's that's, that's you know, real. Exactly. People come in all the time and just mm-hmm. come in. You, uh, who is it? We had a client this week, came in, first time in here, and he got a haircut from Zach. We were just like ping ponging me and this guy or whatever. Zach's jumping in. It was we're all just laughing, and the kid like he left. And uh, when he got up, when he leave, he said, "Y'all." He said, "He said what? Y'all made me laugh." No, he goes, "This place is funny." That's what he said. He goes, "This place is funny." So I'm definitely coming back. Yeah. And I was like, sometimes that's all they need, bro, just yeah. to get away from reality yeah. for a second. Yeah. He didn't even care you about the I mean? haircut. I mean, he didn't say anything about the haircut. He just said, "Oh, this place made me made me laugh." Like I'm I'm definitely coming back. Yeah, yeah, got some um, stupid ass fruit right flies. There, we got gnats and fruit flies flying around yeah, here, you know what I'm saying? No, we just got to get them out of our faces. But, but, Darryl but is yo, that's sometimes that's, that, killer. that's definitely all they, all they need, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, facts. So, just, yeah, like yeah, I, I am said, a, yeah, I am the hornet killer. A little bit of a little bit of a conversation, a little bit of acknowledging somebody yeah. little, can go a long way because a lot of people got things built up in their brain and no. their mind. A lot of people are, how do I say that, socially awkward. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They don't want to... <clears throat> it's very hard <clears throat> sometimes, sorry. It's very hard sometimes for somebody to clear their, clear their mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody, a stranger. Yeah. Rather than somebody close. But some a lot of people don't want to share their thoughts with somebody close because sometimes they'll be judged. Yeah. yeah. So they rather see a stranger when a stranger can give their opinion on what they think. 
Yep. That's why people go to therapy. If I'm right. No, that's right. That's why people go to therapy. You're real. And I know I'm going to get the bombastic side eye from everybody for saying this, but if you in this game just... <clears throat> excuse me. If you in this game just to make money and just to come in and make a couple of dollars and leave, bro, you should get another job, bro. Because... Get the fuck up out of here. We are... Uh, we we do more than just cut hair. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When you got love for this this craft and this trade, you do more than just cut hair, man. You're here for the people. We your therapist, you know baby. Yeah. You got to be here for them. They're the ones that keep you afloat. You know what I mean? So yeah. just keep that in mind. Like, for, all, for all you barbers that is just cutting hair for the dollar, keep that in mind, yo. Sometimes somebody needs you, bro, and you're in there just trying to make a dollar to get out. Mm-hmm. No good. No yeah. good. So that goes in, into our topic for the day, mm-hmm. would you rather have loyalty or respect? Can I start this? Go ahead, Matthew. Go so, ahead. in my eyes, go ahead. Loyalty come a long way. So, I feel if I'd rather take loyalty over respect, only because loyalty earns that respect. You know what I'm saying? When someone's very loyal to you, they show you the respect. You you earn their respect. You know what I'm saying? Rather than uh, to be honest, that's all I could go with loyalty and respect because they kind of fall together. They form together. It's weird. Mm-hmm. So you can say either or about it. This is an arguable argument. You know what I'm saying? But loyalty comes with respect and respect will come with loyalty. You ain't got... Actually, I lied. You ain't got to be loyal to me, but you got to respect me. You can, Loyalty is a choice. But respect, you ain't got to respect me, but you ain't going disrespect Respect me. is more of a... Let me stop. Let me stop. Respect is more of a mandatory thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I respect you, I expect you to respect me. If I'm loyal to you, doesn't mean you got to be loyal to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving you my loyalty, and I expect your loyalty back. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But a lot of people do elsewhere. That's what a lot. That's and and just to jump on what you're saying, bro. And you know, you've heard me say this millions of times. Like, sometimes, sometimes you got to give without expectation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because that's when you set yourself up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. When you when you give somebody something with expectations of getting something back, that's mm-hmm. when you end up failing and you end mm-hmm. up sad because mm-hmm. you ain't. There's not many people out there that think the same way as you do. Mm-hmm. If your heart is pure, nine out of ten people's heart out yeah. there ain't pure. Most you know what I'm saying? The loyalty, like you said, you're gonna give the loyalty. Yeah. Don't expect that shit back, dog. Right. Just yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just let it catch you by surprise when they give it back. You know what I'm saying? Loyalty is a big thing, and with loyalty comes respect. You know what I'm saying? If somebody's really genuinely loyal to you, they will respect you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Disagreements are disagreements. Agree to disagree. Respect is respect. Loyalty is loyalty. It all comes together. It all comes full circle if it's genuine. If it's fake, you already you're gonna see all yeah. the loopholes in the gray areas. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, it all comes to float. Respect you know I mean? comes a long way. So at the end of the day, bro, I'd rather you be loyal to me. I'm definitely gonna be loyal to you until you show me that I shouldn't be loyal to you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I love the respect. I'm definitely going to respect you until you show me that I shouldn't respect you anymore. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And, and and at that point, I'm still not going to disrespect you because I'm not that type of person no more. You know what I'm saying? I might have been at one point, but I'm a good person now. I try to do everything in, in a good way. So I'm going to show you the amount of respect that you deserve. That's what I'm saying. I'm never going to disrespect you, though, that unless that's what you deserve. And that's my take on it. All right. Yeah. You got a big dog. Uh, yeah. I mean, he said yeah. He said yeah. I mean, He's yeah. like, oh shit. I no, know. I, I definitely. I'm going. I, was, well, I wanted to go I'm, second. What the fuck? No, I, I really. <laughs> I mean, you both kind of said what I, I wanted nah, to say. Yeah. But I, I go loyalty over respect first. Okay. Like Fine. I feel like if you craving that respect, like that's like, that's like. You craving for people to accept you. That's craving for people to like you. Like you know what I'm saying. Like. No one's gonna. Not everybody's gonna like you. Not everybody's gonna. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So, like all that stuff. But like loyalty. But I only say that too because if like if I if I fuck with you, you're like in my circle. Like you automatically got my loyalty. You already got automatically got my respect, right? Mm-hmm. I already come in with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what that saying? They say like you gotta give respect to get respect. Mm-hmm. Like I'm already coming in there with that. Not in, ex- expecting you to give it back, yep. but I'm already coming in. Step one: respect, loyalty. You know what I'm saying? Like with those 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 things or whatever. So like I don't know. Like I trust everybody. 
until you t- until you make me not trust you anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm or, saying? Like DMX said it. He goes, I trust everybody. He goes, I trust to be who they are. Yeah, yeah, I trust everybody. You know, I, he goes, I trust everybody. He goes, I trust a cheater to cheat, a liar to lie, a killer uh, a killer to kill. Like you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I, when he said that, I was like, damn, that's kind of true. But I trust I trust everybody. Like I. Like you come work with me, like I'm trusting you automatically. I'm not even thinking you're gonna come in and try to play me with my money. But once you play with my money, once you fuck me over somehow, some way, not even just work with me, or whatever, like you just, it's like a dagger, boom. And yeah. I'm like, kind of like, I'm done. But so loyalty is more than respect for me. Or, you know, because we, I mean, you know, respect nail on the hammer, boys. Yeah. That's it. And Keep that's our episode. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. That was quick. That was, like, that was All quick. Right. Um, no. Yeah. So we're gonna go up the head with this one. Let me um let me spice it up. We're going to another topic for y'all. Don't go crazy with him. Let's go. No, no, He's no, gonna no, go no, crazy. No yeah, I know. Okay, I know, so I know him already. He's gonna go be crazy. Mad. Go ahead. <laughs> be mad. Wild and mind? crazy guy. Go ahead with your mm. crazy ass eyebrows. Them shit's a wild. Looking from the side profile, that one right there. Let's go shit. gray crocs. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe you really wore those. Let me show my shoe off He's too. He's thinking real hard about the topic. Let me show my shoe off too. Bro, I'm so mad that I didn't. Keep those, bro. got the bro. bubble gum print on the bottom, right? I, yeah, yeah, bro. I'm yeah, yo. I had these shits in my hands and I sold them. They bro. really called bubble gum yeah, ones, to me. but the atmosphere. I sold you those, yeah. bro. I didn't even remember that. <laughs> I ain't got no hey, about you. I I'm mad as hell. Them. them shits was mine right there, Doug. <laughs> and I gave them shits away, man. <laughs> mad as fuck. Probably retail. Yep. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Those are tough yeah. to get. Stupid, yo. You know what I saw today, yo? While Matt thinks about the the, the next thing we're gonna I talk got about. Nothing, bro. I got a blank. I'm drawing a blank. I ate. So let's talk about this. I posted it. I'm pretty sure y'all saw it. The winterized spizikes. Yo. Tell me I them shits the ain't those. fire. Black ones? The hard, Gucci bro. joints with the green, black, oh, and red. What are you talking about? Bro, I don't oh. ever in my life even think about wearing spizikes. <laughs> bro, I buy them shits. Yo, look them shits up. Yeah, I don't know. Yo, you. Bro, and then the winterized nines, the Gucci nines. Fire. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy dog. Crazy, what are you crazy. looking at, bro? Man, your business. No, what he posted. These, these. Nah, nah, I'm nah. Say, nah. Those 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 it was in my story. Dogs. It was in my story. Those oh. are boot skis. I'm say, those I used to rock in the '90s, bro. Shorts and everything. This guy posted like crazy. Yo. I, damn, yo. Let me catch up on my. On, yeah, you got like your friend stuff. You know what I'm saying. So my up. son bought me my second copy of the chicken and broccoli version of uh, like the Iron Man. The Iron Man uh, vinyl, Ghostface Iron Man. Ghostface is my favorite rapper aside yeah, yeah. Uh, from Nas. And uh, I got the Nas uh, Illmatic album on vinyl. And I had the the Iron Man album on vinyl and I framed it. Fire. It's in my barbershop. Crazy. And I got the 36 Chambers framed. And I, uh, I'm about to buy another frame so I can frame the Forever, uh, Wu-Tang Forever album. But... um. My son blessed me with a with a with a, a extra copy of the Iron Man so I could be able to play it in the shop. So mm-hmm. you know, shout out to Eli Triple I the Barber, E L I I I the Barber. Check him out on Booksy. Kid is crazy with the, with the Clippers. Um, that's my son. If you didn't, if you didn't hear that <laughs> I knew part, that was coming. <laughs> yo, I'm so proud of that kid, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Lit, Both of lit, my boys, lit. man. They becoming some great young men. You know what I'm saying? It's the best feeling in the world to be proud of your child. You know what I'm saying? They definitely have. And I'm sure every own. parent is proud of their child, but I'm talking about me and mine. You know what I'm saying? Like coming from, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Your background. Yeah, to man. Now, I feel like as a father, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I got two stepchildren. Obviously, my lady got some children, but as bro, a they're father, children, bro. All right, all right, Come all right, on, man. man. But as a father, your way, you know what I'm saying, you was raised different. You was raised however you were raised, you know what I'm saying, we ain't going to get into that, but you try to make them the best version of them, you know what I'm saying? Or, am I yeah. saying that right? Like, you yeah. try to make them better than you. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Cleaned now, up. I, I cleaned everything up uh, uh, around, you know what I'm saying? No throw no years out there, but I, I, I started cleaning my life up at a certain year. And trying to clean up my vocabulary, trying to clean up everything, you know what I'm saying? Boom, and look. Like everything. Years down the road. Everything is uh falling right into place, man. My kids is, is transitioning into some great young men. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And, and like every parent and child, they go through their through their bumps. And and you know, I, I heard a saying that says a child 
uh, goes through three phases with the, with the father. They idolize their father, they demonize their father, and then they realize that their father is just a human being. Mm. And they grow together. You know what I'm saying? And I, I went through that with uh, one of my children. You know what I mean? My oldest. And, uh, you know, I'm just so grateful that, you know, we, we got the... Our relationship is amazing. You, you know what I'm saying? My relationship that, right? is amazing with all my children. And, and that's just a big thing for me, bro. Like, outside of everything and anything else... Like, it's just the best feeling in the world just to have mm. the best relationship with all your children, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'll and I got a, quite a few children, so, and I love every single one of them. I love you guys, if you're looking, if you're watching. <laughs> so, ah, come on, Daryl. I just yo, finished talking about my kids. I really, yo, I really thought he was going to go from the bottom up. He didn't, bro. He didn't, bro. You know why he didn't do it? And I'm going to tell you straight up why he didn't do it. Because that shit tastes like soap. (laughs) And he knows that shit. That's the only reason he didn't fucking do it. And the funny thing is, I didn't even think of doing it until he said, I took a sip. He goes, I thought you were going to lick the bottom of that. (laughs) And I went and I looked. I seen you. Mad weird, yo. Mad weird, yo. I did that shit mad silent. I was like, bro. So then I seen you. I looked. You didn't hear. You didn't like look this way. So I was like, I looked at him, I just did, I was like this, and I just knew that he was already looking at me, I was like, this like, I think I gotta find a different podcast to be part of, yo. <laughs> hey, yo, Nori, uh, you got any room for me over there? Yo, Wu-Tang, just know if you hear this, you gotta get in the world some, some merch, some VIP or something. I don't even need nothing, I just need something signed by every member. This idolize the shit out of you. Every right week, Ugh. it's, yo, I got the Wu-Tang this, Wu-Tang that. I'm on the Wu-Tang level. He hating because his... Nah, nah, nah. I you know who his favorite rapper is? I gifted him something. You cold. know who his favorite rapper is? I t- ah, damn. 50%. He got two favorite rappers, this guy over here. Young Ma. Lil Yachty <laughs> and 21 Savage. That's fucking crazy. Come on, man. man. Whoever listen to 21, 21, Can 21. you do something for me? Come on, man. Here. Come on, bro. You know what, what I grew that? up on? Many men wish that the poor me... Go ahead, keep going. Blood in my eyes, a dog you can't see. Go ahead. Because I'm right. destined to be when I'm I messed up you the whole fucking You missed a couple words, song. go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I'm destined to be who I'm destined to be. Back on the wall, now you... See, hey, you I, don't see? Know what, I don't know what album that is, but that, I, I think it's a remix. Richard Dye trying. Nah, I don't know what words oh, his, you were saying. Yeah. Yeah. From, the beat uh, was... I mean, Back on the wall? It says, I don't know about back on the wall. I don't know what that means, but... um. He says that. No, he doesn't. I'll put money, 50 bucks? No. Okay, my back on the wall. Uh, Rich trying. My back on the wall, now you going to see. Yeah. You didn't say it at the right time, bro. You, made, <laughs> I you did, skipped I did. the whole fucking you're right, bar, you're right, dog. You're right, you're right, you're right. I was going to say, I think he said it. Get Rich or Die trying. So 50 is your or favorite, rich, your favorite mm, rapper. Mm, mm. Of all right. time, growing up, yes. Jesus. Yes. Who's your favorite rapper? Because 50 <laughs> Cent... 50 Cent, bro, Curtis. Curtis Jackson. Listen, first album, Fanatic. Second album, Fanatic. Anything after that, bro, I'm sorry. All your mixtapes, super Fanatic. All your mixtapes. All of them. Every single one of them. EPs. No, mixtapes. All your mixtapes. See, that's when you're not a fan, bro. You don't know about the mixtapes, bro. You don't know about the fucking... Massive amount of mixtapes he dropped before his first album. What was the that. first song he dropped? We, oh my and who God. put him on the scene? DMX. Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm going to launch this fucking twisted blast, bro. <laughs> Jam Master J, bro. Who? Jam Master J from Run DMC. You don't even know who that is, I bro. He, talking about Puff rest Daddy. in peace, Jam Master J. He's dead. <laughs> How to Rob. Puff Daddy. You remember the song How to Rob? What? He explains how to rob every rapper in the industry. For real? Put that song on. Nah, I'm just kidding. We're going to listen to it after we we, we cut. Mm-hmm. That's your favorite the- rapper. Alexa, play that shit. Nah, we ain't got Alexa here, do we? Nah, I'm fucking with you. We fancy. We had that shit. <laughs> Imagine one of the TVs just came out doing that shit. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's weird, bro. My, my taste of music you always keeps changing. Prince, ain't you? Prince? He's not a rapper. No. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to talk like lyrically, or you, want to talk about, or you want to talk about like so, like <laughs> like a good song, like you know what I'm saying? All around of all time, like I can put on right now, and I'm just like I'm rocking. Like with you it. can oh, rock Saint every John. every every track. Listen to every track, not skipping. Like like you you like damn yeah. Because I'm like I'm. It's weird. It's weird when I I have names in my head. He's gonna say Drake. What's your favorite know. genre? 
What do you mean my genre? You, like, what genre do you oh. most listen to? Gospel. Nah, it, it, we're not like mostly like R and B. Okay. But like R and B, but now it's like an R and B, like hip hop or whatever. Like, okay. Like I, that's usually me. Like when I'm in the car, yep. it's R and B. So who is it? Who's the the one you? Who's your go to? Dude, it depends on the mood I'm in. That's weird. Okay. No, but I'm it. just saying, because I like production first in the lyrics. Yeah. Like, I've always been like that. So, like, some people just get mad at me because I'm like, ah, the song's trash. Like, yo, it's fire. Yeah. Like, like lyrically, like, Wu, like Wu-Tang. Okay. Like, you love Wu-Tang. Yeah. Now, disrespect Wu-Tang. Production-wise, it just doesn't move me. Yeah, you know it's saying? different. It's but, a but acquired you like, taste. You like, you like certain things, and he, like, he likes 50 Cent because of his lyrics or whatever. We're just saying, I like only certain 50 Cent songs because of how it's produced. Yeah, I'm weird like that. So like lyrically, it gotta be like Common, Jay Z. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Really, like it's really, all those really good selections. Right but I, Common, I like, bro, I like I've been the, listening yeah, to Common like since Common was Common Sense. I like yeah. Fabulous. I like, uh, yeah, I like Fabulous. Fabulous is a good one. I like um mm, top five, top rap, five, top five. Whiz, currency. Top five. I like currency. Oh, my top five. Yeah. No. <sighs> I gotta take a deep breath for this one, boys. My top five right now. Yeah. No, no specific order. Just top five. I didn't grow up listening to a lot of these rappers because I'm too. I was too. No, nah, no, nah, whatever, whatever it is. My, is yours. my era. Yeah, I'm gonna go Fab number one. Okay, that's just me. You don't have to name number no, two. No, no all number. All right, we'll go Fab. No order. Fifty. Cameron. Yep. Wiz. You said Wiz. Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, man. Wiz Khalifa, man. Cabin Fever, man. He went crazy. Okay. Rolling paper. He went nuts. Um. That's four. That's four. Oh man, the last one, man. <sighs> Bro, it's so hard. I'm waiting for <laughs> the last one. Eminem? Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Eminem? Hello. Damn, I mean, what's his name? Pistol uh, P? No. Master P? You said Pistol P? Nah, 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 nah. What's his name? What's his name? Styles P? PD Crack? Nah, you got the two braids. What's his name? Davies? Nah, nah. No, nah, don't nah. tell me you're talking about Nipsey Hustle. Nah, 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 nah. <sighs> Pop Smoke? Mystical. <laughs> <laughs> P something. P. Pistol. Push a T? He got two braids. Push a T. Push a T. He's Pusha part T. of the 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 Clips. uh the clips. Yeah. Push the T's fire though. Push the T's fire, but push the T. Yeah. I was watching a, a, a drink champs today, right? Yeah. Memphis Bleak was on drink champs today, and he said, "Yo, uh, push the T is fire, but push the T's been rapping about the same thing for." Since he, started. <laughs> he, he said, "All he raps about is cocaine." <laughs> and he got a point there. He I got think a that's point him. There. Hold on. Hey Siri, push the T. It's twins. It's him and Ma- uh, Malice. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, how your big ass voice sets off my Siri. All right, while he does that, all right. Yo. What's your top five? All right, top five. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. All right. I mean, you already said Jay-Z, Common, right? Yeah, Pusha T. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, That's my guy. Jay-Z, Common, Fabulous. It's not in a particular order. I'm sorry. I'm doing it. Drake. How many you threw out already? I'm Three. on my fourth. You four, you I'm two. on four right now. Drake uh, is my fourth. Okay. I mean, not I in like the fourth Drake. place, Drake's, but... Drake's tough. Drake's Drake. fire. Drake, Drake's a bang. <laughs> he be banging, bro. And... There's one more, bro. Kanye. Okay. Yo, Kanye. Oh, Kanye? A, bro. Any Kanye. Any Kanye. All Yo, time Kanye. Not the gospel Kanye. Kanye. Kid Cudi, Kid Cudi not, was nice. Nah, I didn't really like oh. Kid Cudi. Kanye West, though, was no, nice. No, Kanye... Not the gospel Kanye. 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 When you came up with that God one... Before Kim Kardashian, Kanye. Yo, Kanye, even Kanye after Kim Kardashian, yeah. bro, the shit that he just dropped not too long ago, they just mm-hmm. threw a snippet on Instagram. Bro, he murdered. That little snippet murdered, bro, most rappers in the game. Day mm-hmm. and night with Kanye? Crazy. Nope. Uh, my top five, you done? Yeah, go ahead. My top five, obviously, Ghostface and Nas. Yeah. That's two, right? Yeah. Kanye's in there. Yeah. Right? Big pun. Yeah. See, I wish I listened to Jada Kiss. Oh, Damn. I forgot about Jada, man. Damn, Jada Kiss has guy. to be in there, bro. Man. Uh, he's he should have gave me a top six, 10, dog. Nah, he's my sixth man. No. Yeah, Jadakiss, 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 yeah. Jadakiss, Jadakiss definitely Jadakiss has to be yo, in the there. The funny thing is when I he was talking and he said Cameron, I thought to myself, yo, that whole era with Cameron and like Jadakiss, the locks Jadakiss, and shit like Jadakiss. that. Like, your yo, favorite group? Mine? <laughs> favorite group? Yeah. Dipset. 
Dipset? Yeah, that's crazy. I was about bro, to say that. I just listened the to the Saint Jim Santa. Jones podcast, yeah. podcast bro. Yeah. Yo, Dipset did a lot yeah. of shit nobody knows about, bro. Oh, yeah. Dipset, Dipset fire. is fire, yo. You know what like I'm saying? Like, my favorite record label growing up, my favorite record label. Like, I bought anybody who's on a record label, I bought their CD, Rockefeller. Not my favorite, yeah. but I'm going to give them daps on that because Rockefeller is nice. big, yo. Okay, my yeah. favorite my favorite record label, yeah. Terra Squad. All right. Terror Squad. Terror Squad. Who's that big pun? That's yeah, Fat, Fat Joe. Joe and all them good Who shit. Who else though? Who else was on that? Triple Tony, Says. Tony, Tony, Sunshine? Uh, Tony Sunshine. Triple Says. Remy Martin. Tony Sunshine. Armageddon. Nice. Um, Fat Joe. Big pun. Uh, there was no girls on there? Remy, Remy Martin. Martin. Remy Martin. Yeah, yeah, big pun. That was big pun's artist. Yeah. Uh, but group, my favorite group of all times, Wu-Tang Clan. Obviously, yeah. everybody course, knows that. Of course, of course, of um, course. It's just... So I grew up watching, you know, Bruce Lee movies and Kung Fu yeah. flicks. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I live closer. Yeah. I live closer to New York. You know what I mean? So New York and Connecticut, New York and Hartford. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, we right. like did everything was mimicked. You know what I'm saying? Everything was mirrored. You know what I mean? So just growing up on the Kung Fu flicks and listening to how RZA put everything together uh, with their albums and just watching, bro, just watching the series, bro. Yeah. I watched that series. On Hulu, the Wu Tang uh, Wu Tang Clan, the saga continues or whatever the fuck Fire. it's called. Yo, dog, listen. The craziest thing in the world is watching something that you was you lived through, knowing what happened when it happened because you remember it happening. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like that, that, right? that was fucking crazy, dog. You oh, know what yeah, I'm saying? Oh, that yeah. fucking series right there. Yo, off the hook. Fire series. It is. It Fire. is. It Fire. is. I feel it like is. that's what music does. Like music always brings you to that. Place and time and shit Bro, like that. Bro, and, and, like, and, and just the fact that I could listen to every Wu-Tang Clan track. I could listen to every Wu-Tang Clan solo album. I could listen to every Wu-Tang affiliate and not skip a track, bro. That's my favorite right there. Mm-hmm. I, know, that that's I know that's my favorite. You know what I'm saying? I got one. I got one. Who's your current artist I don't think we today? got a group. We did a oh, group with your him. Group? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna answer for him. G unit? Yes and no. <laughs> Yo, 50 did like his thing, Dipset, though. though. Dipset, yeah. yeah. Dipset, 50 did his thing. When I said Dipset, he said Joel Santana, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jewel, I like Joel. Yeah. What? All right, go ahead. But G unit for sure. Yeah, Young yeah. Buck. Nah, G unit for thing. But yeah. Lloyd Banks, man, that was my dog. I man. think to me, Lloyd Banks was the best one in the group. Lyric, the most lyrical one? Uh, yeah, I feel like every 50, group got over one 50? that's more lyrical. Yeah, what well, uh, I would put me personally, I would put him over fifty. I would no. put fifty at a strong second. Uh, fifty sold more, but Banks, Lloyd spit no. more. Banks, uh, Lloyd Banks was better than Fifty Cent, in he my opinion. He's, he's he was lit. You know fifty saying? just knew how to make music. Every album, even till today, every album that Lloyd Banks put out was fire. You know what I'm saying? Fifty first two albums was crazy. All his yeah. mixtapes was crazy. Anything after his first two albums, eh. Yeah. Uh, Yayo was trash. <laughs> Young um, Buck. Damn. Game wasn't really in G Unit. They just threw nah, him in the there game, as a no, filler. The game was good. Game's game good. is good. Nah, I couldn't fuck with the game. No? I, like, I mean, I like some of his songs, but he like, I just like, it got annoying after a while because all he does is name drop. Yo, yeah. That's all he does. Every yeah, song yo, he drops someone's name. He do right. drop a lot of fucking How about names. his performance, bro? He downs a whole bottle of Ciroc. Oh, it's Ciroc? Ciroc. Bro, a whole bottle of Ciroc before he even starts rapping, dog. The whole thing cracks it, downs the whole bottle in one gulp, not stopping, and, and then jumps into his set. God damn. Crazy. I don't Relax. even know how he does that Man's shit. Man's a savage for that. Relax. But, um, all right, what was your... No, I'm going to say, what is your current artist right now that's out right now that you that you listening to right now that's in real rotation? Current artist out now. Dave East. Okay. Oh, okay. Small. Dave East uh, yep. put on the game through Nas. Nas is my favorite artist. Dave East is a beast, bro. Mm. And I have a group too. But go ahead, we could just finish off the, I the fuck artist with Saint part. Saint John, I never even heard of him. Saint John, Dad put me on. Saint John's a beast. But is he mainstream? Is he? Nah, he's he's more like a writer. Like you know what I'm saying. So he's been writing for like a lot of people for like years or whatever. He said nice. he said he came out, decided to come out with his own songs. He he has albums out, but no one really knew he wasn't like mm-hmm. mainstream, like commercial like that. But like. Um, he started coming out with some hits, like remix with like uh, house music or whatever. Yeah. And um, he uh, 
So he realized that he was making more. He'll make more money that way than writing because he was only making so much or whatever. Yeah. But St. John, he's fire. Um, but mine right now is uh, Don Tolliver. Don Tolliver. 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 He's like a R and B like, right? Instead of Oliver, it's Tolliver. Tolliver. He's like R and B kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm listening to this album right now. Love sick. I've been like man, heavy rotation on that one. But yeah, I like money I'm bag, always yo. finding these artists that are, like are right at like they're starting to come out. But you can like listen. Like I love when you can like just put a CD on and listen from beginning just to jam end. Jam out, yeah, yeah, yeah. From yeah. beginning to end, I that's what I'm saying. Like I love production. I like to listen to CD from beginning to mm-hmm. end. Oh, so yeah. I, I got like a couple of artists I could name that like one of them was uh, Majid Jordan, the sign of Drake, right? So um, no one probably really knows what that is, but I got some albums. Yo, you can listen to that album from beginning to end. It almost sounds like one big ass song. It doesn't even like it doesn't like I hate when you listen to a certain song and then the next song the beat's like completely different yeah, yeah, or the yeah. or the topic complete I don't know I just like the way it just like certain things flow yeah. and and that and I'm sorry to cut you off but I just no, good. I just read this the other day is um Drake got a CD that um uh, what's that CD it's, it's been out for two, um ten years now fuck can't think of the one. It's the one with the little kid on the on the side. It's a side profile of him or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're talking about. You know I don't know the name of it. But... I can't think of the name of it. But I just read this thing about it that um, that CD was meant to be listened to backwards. What, like, like track to track backwards? Yep. Like, really? <clears throat> like, like, like track backwards. Like, nothing was the same. Ah, uh, okay. so you so, gotta listen to it from down up. You got to listen. I don't know how you can... You don't have to like fuck with it somehow. Start at the last But track. you got to start from all me and then go all the way up to the top. And then like, I seen this whole thing that broke it down, like how the first song starts and how the last song starts. And it's like, I guess it was meant to go be backwards or whatever. But I don't know. So I've, been, I've been trying to like... That's fire. That. Right. Another one is... um, Damn, what's that dude? Um, That Spider-Man album. Who is that? Metro Boomin. Metro but fucking But Don Toliver's on that. My man Metro but he's a producer. be putting some fucking... Whatever he is. He's a producer. That man's a I dog. I follow producers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that man's a dog. Yeah. That man be putting on some crazy Rockefeller, music. I like Rockefeller a lot because Just Blaze. I'm sick yeah. of Just fucking fire. my boy. Nick Another Kanye. one. I'm sick of DJ Khaled. I'm sorry. Bro, you Bang can't his. hate on that dude's hustle. No, no, man. no. He hustling man, hustling man. You can't. But the bro. motherfucker been around for years, yo. Yeah. But, but he, yo, he doing but it, He's though. killing it. He be killing doing it. it you see what? You hear why he don't lose weight? Because he can't lose. He always wins. You seen that? <laughs> <laughs> you seen that? <laughs> Yo, but another shit that's popping up right now a lot is the Afro beats, the Afro shit. Yeah, that's just fire. Yo, that girl, uh, Thames. Thames, yeah, Thames. She's fire, bro. Wiz, uh, Wiz Kid. Bro. Bur- uh, Burner Boy. Listening to fire, that shit, bro. like, I got my bro, I got day, my times of the morning yep. that I got to listen to something a little less. Bro, right? Then you know what I'm saying? Like I throw on some Thames, I throw on some Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? I like Chris Brown. I just throw on a playlist of Chris Brown. Chris Brown's fire. I listen to um salsa. You know what I'm saying? I get into my classic salsa. Yeah. From back in the day. Yeah, I'm Puerto Rican dog. I gotta listen to that shit, bro. That shit. I can't I, I, yo, I don't artist. skip I don't skip any songs, dog. Jerry Rivera, Willie Colon, Frankie Ruiz, you know what I'm saying? Gilberto uh Santa Rosa, you know what I mean? Like it's just, bro, it yeah. just brings me back. You know what I'm saying? I got to send you this. Uh, I'll have to send you. What's you that on? Spotify? I got Spotify at the shop. I have, yeah. to, I have to send you this right here. This is a playlist. I'm, I, still, I, I'm still linked to yours. I'm just joking. Look, he paused. I was like, how? <laughs> no, nah, I got my own. No, nah, no. Nah, but but uh, yeah, send me that playlist. I can send you this all like Afrobeat things or whatever. So mm-hmm. I put some together and then they, they on Spotify, then they'll, they'll recommend some songs that go yeah. with it. This shit. Yeah, I play this in the shop sometimes from the beginning to end. It's just fire. Yeah, yeah. Send me that. Yeah. Send me that. Another group that, bro, this is probably right now is probably one of my favorite groups is uh, Griselda. Who's that? Griselda with um, West Side Gunner, with uh, Conway, with Benny the Butcher. Benny the Butcher. He's a beast, bro. All of them cats, yo. Benny All the Butcher pushing T. Did you hear this shit with Benny the Butcher and Fabulous Answer and Jadakiss? Benny the Butcher pushing T. Oh, that's a question. Uh huh. Benny the Butcher or Pusha T? Uh huh. Oh, bro, I gotta go Benny. I gotta go Benny. Um, Benny the Butcher or Fabulous? <laughs> I got you there, my boy. Uh, it depends, bro. It depends on how I'm feeling, but I'm st- me with my likes. I'd rather go Benny the Butcher. Fabulous? Hey, that's me. Go ahead. Fabulous or Jada Kiss? Jada Kiss. 
Okay. And yo, it's don't get me wrong, like Fabulous Jada. is a beast. It's not much like a beat. But Jada, it's personal per, personal preference, bro. Like Jada's kiss of death? Crazy. Bro. Crazy. Jada's anything. Jada, yo. Bro, still to this day, I could listen to Jada Kiss's set on the verses, bro. And still listen to the whole thing with no problem. What's bro. that song where he dissed uh was it why him? Nah, 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 hold on. He said, why you got to kiss that whore? Why you got to... That's why. Is the question is why. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Why did, what did he, he say? He was talking why about Kobe? Kobe. He was talking about Kobe. He said, why did Kobe kiss that whore or something like that? He why wasn't dissing anybody. He was just like asking questions. You know Crazy, what I'm saying? Crazy, yo. That, said, song, that, song that, deep, yeah. that song was deep, though. That song was deep. Yo, you, I, you had to sit there and listen to that twice just to be like, yo, hold on. Yeah, that song was deep. Yo, he went off, yeah. bro. Like, that's when... um. Kobe caught that charge, right? They was trying to get him. Yeah. yeah. But in shit. reality, he had nothing to do with it. Well, he wasn't no, with me shooting had, in the gym. He had something to do with it, but, but it's he, just it just made out to be more than what it really was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then he ended up giving uh, wifey the <laughs> big, big ass, ass ring. <laughs> big ass. Yo, 100 bands at least. 100 bands? At dog, least. talk about 100 bands. A couple million, dog. Think so? Like five? You saw how big that rock was? Yo, that rock Had to be a couple million. That's just the size of that. Eight. Probably 100 million. Yo, it's funny. Nah. Dude. Come on. It's, I mean, it's I mean, funny. There was, a girl, uh, there was a girl here uh, last yeah. week. She, uh, we're yeah. talking to her about like, financial <laughs> stuff or whatever, right? And, uh, yo, he kept like, we're talking or whatever. He goes, yo, check out her ring. I'm like, look at her engagement ring was like fucking huge, yo, right? Yo, the thing was like this. No bullshit. Yeah, it was huge. <laughs> and uh, I was like, damn, I'm looking at it. He brought it up. And she was like, yeah, you know, he did, he did good. He did good. I look, I was like, God damn, I stepped my game up. My girl's ring looks mad small. Yo, the that. thing's worth at least 25 Yeah. Yeah, you know, this is a car paint. Car. Yeah. The motherfucker. I'm hey, trying that, to tell you about She said a car was, payment? No, she said a car. car. Oh, a car. Like All right. Fingernail, dog. That's so, yeah. She said, yeah, it's a solid four. Four, four carrots? God damn. Yeah. Yo, I'm in the seat getting a haircut and I couldn't help it, right? Bro, so I don't even know why you bring this shit up on the podcast, bro. What? You're going to have all our ladies expecting more. Oh, shit. Hey, bro, this Trust like... me, I tried buying one. Yo, baby, yo, my girl, girl, my girl I tried said, upgrading my girl's ring. She doesn't yeah. want it. My girl said, baby, you ain't got She doesn't want it. She goes, I like I this said, one. I said, I say less. You put a lady on the ring? Uh, ring on the lady? Uh, not yet. But I'm like, yo, baby, I got you. Yeah. Nah, baby, it's cool. Don't worry about it. we get there. I say less. Yeah. <laughs> I say less. You ain't gonna tell me. Yeah, I upgraded my lady's shit. Yeah, she won't. Nice, lady. nice, nice one. But you probably did when oh, you Bobby, when where you, you going? when you married her, right? Like you got an engagement ring and then it's a wedding ring. So I upgraded her engagement ring. They probably can hear you still. I upgraded the engagement <laughs> ring. I was about to re up on my on my, my drink. Uh, my drink. Damn, but I don't got my my Red Bull, yo. So I'm gonna have to go straight. Um <sighs> Uh, I upgraded the engagement ring, and then uh, the wedding ring came along with the yeah, yeah, with the, yeah. so the new engagement ring. So it, it was a, off it was a rock with a few se- uh, separate Those. rocks on the sides, and then the banger, and then the big banger. Dong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I like I like no, I, I like I like her setup. Down. I like her setup. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. glossy. <laughs> My girl's ring is just one rock. Nah, ain't nothing nah. wrong with it, man. Kobe's lady. She likes you know rock. what it is, bro? She likes it. It's where it came from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's where it came from. That's all it is. They and then care. I knew what I paid Yo, for. Yo, women, women don't care about that shit. I know. Women, but some women are not but I don't know. I don't know. I seen, I knew what I paid for it. And then I seen others that were like the same price or like, or uh, just a little bit more. And I'm like, damn, I should have got that. You know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm like, the women that care about that shit, go fuck yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, bro. Love is love for real, for real, yo. Yeah. A ring don't measure how much love there is in a relationship. None of that bullshit. No monetary, no fucking... What's the what's that shit called? My bad, bro. I just hit your mic. What's that shit called? Material, the, uh, no material shit measures the women, amount of love in a relationship. Women's best yo. friend, the diamond's you know partner. So nah, at the end not of the day... Well, not everybody. He said, a women's best friend is diamonds. To be diamonds. real, I Fuck told that my shit. shit. That's, That's not the woman you want. Yo, yeah. listen. I told my girl that. She's like, baby, I don't need that. I yeah, said, you don't need that. I said, nice. I bought my girl earrings one time. She wore them for a little bit. I haven't seen her wear them again. Bro, me too. I bought my girl jewelry. Yo, I used to buy my lady, right? Holiday time. Jewelry. Nice jewelry. You know, jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Bro, it, she wears it every yeah. once in a while. You know what I'm saying? But, but it just sits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So... And that's how you know. That's how you know. It ain't even about okay, none of that yeah, shit. Yeah, I love you, you know? And I ain't used even to ask my lady... Shit. 
Hey, you ain't wearing it, baby. I don't always want to wear it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. No. You know what I'm saying? I try getting a wedding ring just to wear it. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah said no. <laughs> you want to wear it or you want her to wear it? I would go wear it. I'm like, God. Oh. And she goes, why? No, I want to get you a ring. I'm like, yeah, but think about it, babe. I'm like, Where there's a ring on your finger, right? Stating you, you take it. My bad. You fucking kidding me? <laughs> Saying you're taken. I'm like, like, but it's not one on my finger. She sounds like team. my butt cheeks after the gym. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? She's like, well, then we just get married right now. And I'm like, uh. you know, she was, and I was like, all right. And she's like, wait, hold on. Let's, let's wait a little bit. <laughs> We're trying to wait until like a certain moment. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to go in them rubble joints. You know what I'm saying? A little rubble one. Yeah, yeah, a little Amazon joint. A little yeah. $6.99 joint for three of them? Yeah, from Walmart. I'll Listen, them Amazon, things coming handy. I know. I helped you out. Yo, man. bro, when you when you got work and <laughs> shit, bro, you do your thing, bro. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Old people sounds. <laughs> Yo, my abs are sore. Your abs are sore? Yo. Yeah. Listen, the man been working. <laughs> yeah, the man been working hard. Yo, he been denying every food that comes his way, besides the hostess. Oh this yeah. My, this is my first time having a, a liquor since uh, last last time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> mm. This guy sent me too. For real, I yo we have the liquor in, here in the Mac. Like, bro, we got mad liquor back there, bro. Like, we used to fly by. Yeah, that shit ain't fly by ever. <laughs> that if we get a Hennessy bottle, it's cause of you. Just so yeah. you know, and it's always full. The other day, yeah. you know what I'm saying? One of the people was like, "Yo, let me go back there." Da, da, da. Nah, bro. Yeah, yeah there's a bottle that, that like today. that bottle that's in the back, whatever. And that that uh, mm-hmm. can't, like whatever it's called or whatever, a little glass bottle. That's the one that people can drink. That's right. it. Right there in the front. Right here. Yeah. Bro, I like oh, Hennessy, right man. Here. Hennessy's... I, I could tell. I grew up on Hennessy. You should yeah. be sponsored by Hennessy. Bro, I just picked Yo. up... I just... Shout out to Hennessy. Hey, I'm looking for... I'm Yo, looking. the man put anybody to put shame me on. over Hennessy. Listen. <laughs> still walk. Listen. I just picked up the, the anniversary Nas bottle. There we fucking go. Psst. It look nice? Yeah, I mean it's just a regular Henny bottle, but with a Nas label on it's it. It's gonna be done soon. The yeah. the the yeah, it's in the, the, freezer. the wrap the wrap on the neck uh-huh. has Nas lyrics on it, and nice. it's signed by Nas. Nice. And then the box has Nas on it, and bro, it, psh, dog is just. I like how everything revolves around hip hop like that. Yo, it's fucking it crazy, dog. Yo, speaking of that, when you said that, you know what I'm gonna go do? That Jay Z Memorial. I'm gonna go check fire. that out. That should be fine. Where's that at? Yo, how about they just brought Yo. the Lexus out there? It's fine. <laughs> What? His Lexus from the album cover. Like his Lexus, the car. His oh, Lexus yeah, yeah, yeah. just got uh, added to that. That's yeah. fire. Dope. Let's go out there Dope. one day. Yep. I'm down. Yeah. I'm down. You take a train. We I want to really... I'm taking Yo, a train. I've yeah. never done that. I'm down. I'm you down. You want to take a train? Shit's fire. Let's do it. Let's do it. The only way I'm going to New York. We got to set it up though. You know what I'm saying? Where the only way I'm busy. going to New York. Yo, we, how about... Yo, damn. You want me fire? Yo, I could take a Tuesday Wednesday. I'm going to say, nah, I'm like... Yo, if we could have went on Mondays. Oh, you Monday's you good. Got, Monday's good. Like, it'd be kind of tough, though, of because day, Monday, so. I got, I drop, you know what I'm saying, Max off. You got I drop my daughter off at school, and I got to pick her up. Monday would be perfect, but. You guys get, you guys get motion sickness at all? Um, Like, because of a train? Train or movement, boat, no. anything nah, like nah, that? Nah, nah, I'll be all right. No? Yeah. I, I get, I get a little bit on boats. No. I've never been on a train. I would love to experience that. I've been on a train before. I, my first time, I went from, <clears throat> excuse me, I, uh, I drove. To Hartford, Connecticut, to drop my son's car off to him. Yeah. It was a gift to him, and I took the train back. It was my first time ever on. Yeah, train. take back home. Yeah, back out, back to to Prague, and Daryl picked me That's up. That's beautiful. Day. That's dope. And it was How dope. long was that? Little motion sickness. Uh, not not that bad. Like an, an hour, hour and an hour, hour and a half. Trains yeah. nice. Though? You know what I mean? Or yeah. Like I mean, it was, it was yeah. Like one of the trains a bit... train, bro. Nah, there's some trains that I like a little bit better. Nah, the like, train was like a little bit more space experience. It was like where I was sitting at. You could see where the the two trains. Like me, oh, you know, they turn and you see the shit. Yeah. You see all that shit. So it gave me a little bit of motion sickness. Yeah. And since we're talking about motion sickness, this uh, episode of Drink, uh, Drink Champs, what the fuck? <laughs> this episode of uh, Faded on the Couch is brought part uh, brought to you in part by c band This bracelet here has a little uh, pressure point. You put three fingers on your wrist and that third finger up closer to your body. Is your pressure where the point? Where you get that from? And you, hey, yo, uh, my man, where the fuck you get that from? Uh, it, Had to be in the it's spot. a pressure point that takes your mind away from any movement part, and you won't get seasick on a boat, on a car, on a train, or anything. 
Yo, so, did you mean to do that? Back is that to why regularly asked, scheduled program. Is that why you asked? Do you guys get motion sickness? Yeah. And it, yo, that was good, yo. That was good. <laughs> now, nah, my daughter gets really bad motion sickness. So, so you give her that? So I always can't have one of those in the car and in my pocket nice. just in case she has. She took. She went with me to Connecticut today. She usually doesn't go to Connecticut because Long she gets motion shit. sickness. So I get these bands and I put her on and she's good. She's chilling. And they work. I know they work for a fact because I use them. So uh, they're great, man. Everybody but I love, buy them. Uh, so I told my lady, I looked up one of them trains where you can stay like overnight on it, eat some dinner, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it goes from like point A to point B, New York or something. Yeah, and they're not bad. The AM train, AM train, or whatever they're AM called. Tracks. AM tracks, but they have like a dinner one with a bed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stuff like that. And my lady's down, so I'm gonna try it out. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's pretty cool, cool right? Man. That's a cool experience. Yeah, but I just gotta. She gotta find the time, man. She's always busy. Yeah, but the train, like the one I was on, that goes to New York from like Providence or whatever. Like I had to like it was the only one available, but I guess it was like it was like a, I don't know because it was like two different ones or whatever. Um, but you have like it was just you and another person, so it's just two seats. But you have mad room, mm -hmm. so like you're on a plane, you know, it's like three seats, and you tight as fuck. You can't move on a train. You have you and another person. You have your plug. You know what I'm saying? You have a tray that comes out. And it could stay down at any time. That's dope. You get up and walk around. You can go to the food cart, liquor cart, whatever. Oh, they got that. Oh yeah, yeah. They got like a whole cart that's for that. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever. You go just walk around. All they do is like as soon as you get there, they check your ticket. You know what I'm saying? They put it like a little rip off right in the seat in front of you. Or whatever, so that's your your spot. Whatever, so they know like when people come in, they don't sit there. That's dope. You know what I'm saying, well, yeah. that shit was true. I mean, it took the same exact time if I took if I did driving, but then I didn't have to worry about. And it was, oh, you chill, you drink. Yeah, you I mean, it was almost the same as paying for like gas and like for gas. What was I say? Uh, and parking or whatever. But like, you know, I just out know, there took an Uber here and there if I need to. But I went there for like a, a hair show, so I didn't do much. But there's a train show that you can. It right near Penn Station, right there where. Um, the Knicks play, Madison Square Garden. It's fire. There's a train where you can hit a couple states in one day or whatever it is, like yeah. a jog by. So it's obviously a weekend thing, you know what I'm saying? Come back, yeah. leave Friday, come back Sunday. Yeah. But you want to train the whole time, relaxing. Mm -hmm. Then they stop certain places that you can chill, like souvenir shop. Yeah. Which is dope. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. want to experience that now that I'm, like, I don't know, I'm older. Yeah. Like, I've never experienced guys try that shit, you know what I'm saying? Definitely going to try and try different things. I want to yeah. be on a train, though. A train I heard is straight. Yeah. yeah. Something something to get out the way. You know what I'm saying? I've been on a plane. Been on um I've been on a boat once, once or twice. Hmm. Never been on a train, man. I would love to be on a train. Yeah. I want to experience a, a train, but a, a nice train. Hmm. Like like a train you can sit down, eat some lunch, eat some yeah, dinner. Exactly. Like outside. the train I was on. The train I was on, they had like a food cart. It was all the way at the end. Yeah. yeah was. You had to walk all the way down, yeah. get your food. Walk all the way back to your seat. You can't even eat it back there. Nothing, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And there was not a lot of room in between the seats and yeah. from front to back and all that shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? This, so, they give you a little dinner table in front. You and your ladies across from each other. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, big window right there. Yeah. Bed Fire, flops down for the yeah, top. where you look outside. Yeah. yeah. So it's dope. It's dope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. It's not pricey, I don't think. It's like 200 yeah. bucks, 300 bucks. You said 300? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 200. It's not bad, though. I ain't worried. You know what I'm saying? Nobody oh, worried. Uh, you say you ain't on. worried? Oh, we ain't worried, man. I'm sorry, right. guys. Holla. Can I borrow some money? I do something strange for a dollar. Strange for a change. Yeah, I was just going to say. Holla strange for a for change. Holla for a dollar. Holla, 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 oh, holla. Well, fuck it. Well, <laughs> this episode is brought to you by... Hennessy. Hennessy. <laughs> Hennessy. Uh, shop... Uh, Shapu blades, you know what I'm saying? Holla at me. I'm gonna have a link ready. So if y'all want to buy some blades, you know what I'm saying? I get you a discount. You know what I'm saying? Dessert. Boom, there boom, you go. boom. Right? Holla at you. Oh, holla at Johnny B too. You know what I'm saying? Johnny B hair care. Holla at me. Them. I can sell you some stuff. Get you a discount on that too. Uh, I don't know who else sponsors me. If you're ball around, nice come, come holla at shit. us. You know what and what it's saying? brought to you by Noel G's Barbershop, Shop. No. 240 East Main Street. This is the link to book, noelgsbarbershop.booksy.com. And also brought to you by... Wicked Good Barbershop. You know, you can go on Booksy as well. Wickedgoodbarbershop.booksy.com. We're also doing teeth whitening. You know what I'm saying? Like starting uh, Saturday. You can book that online with Stephanie. 795 you know Robeson Street, yo. You come holler at Matt the Barber or Daryl. No. I lied. Wicked good barber. Oh, my man. Zach. Can't forget about my man, Zach the oh, Barber. Between the us, us three... There's us three, 
there's there's us three. I can't even count my fingers. There's Zach yeah. and your team, Tyler, Gwen, X, Javon. That's it, right? Yeah. That's <laughs> so Marvin. far. I got one chair open. One chair open. Huh? I'm looking for a barber, right? Like I need she's... an established barber, a responsible barber, respectful barber, professional barber, right? Mm. If you got those four things, come holler at me, man. Mm -hmm. I got an open chair, and I don't want anybody to forget that Wicked Good Barbershop and Noel G's Barbershop are safe spaces yeah. for anybody that's going through anything. Even if you want to just come sit in the shop, have some chips. We could go barbershop, don't have, have chips no more. Have a water. Chips, yo. Have a Gatorade or yo. something. Just come in, yeah. vent out to us, vent out to yourself. Just sit here and chill out. Yeah. Chillax, you know what I'm saying? Don't got to worry about nothing. Just detach from the world. We're here. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag 988. You guys, everybody knows what that number is about. I don't. Use it if you need it. You know what I'm saying? I teach you. Uh, we all here for you, man. We for the people. We not just barbers for the money. We for the people. You know what I'm saying? And that's real from the heart. You know what I mean? Love is love for real, for real. I know what he was trying to do. I thought he was doing this. Peace. Right. He's throwing up gang signs while I'm trying to help people. Peace. Yeah. But, hey, Later. have a good one. Peace. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs>